the constant hammering, the hum of equipment. At times, it seems the entire city is under construction. Ethiopia is in the midst of a 75 billion US dollar five-year growth plan. Included in that plan, infrastructure projects in and around Addis Ababa. The city is already more than 125 years old and uh, we are going to change the existing situation of the neighborhoods in order to put in more infrastructure. Therefore, the main challenge will be in terms of redeveloping the existing built-up areas. Once a private developer, Mateus Bakele now heads up the city's planning office, an office that is quickly turning the maps covering its walls into construction projects on the ground. So you can see the transformation. The Addis Mercato is Africa's largest open-air market. Since we are expanding vertically, we are creating more spaces. By creating more spaces, we'll be, we are bringing in more services, for example, cafeterias, restaurants, and transport spaces as well, and leisure spaces as well. Bekele says space in the city is becoming a premium. We'll be expecting around 5 million in the coming 10 years in the city of Addis and the neighboring uh, small towns sur surrounding the city. And we are expecting about 8 million in the, in the coming 25 years. Addis's rapid population growth echoed across Africa. 41% of Africans live in cities, and that number grows by 1% every two years. Bekele's office plans to transform 50% of the city's slums into permanent housing complexes within a decade. In order to improve these slum areas in terms of the quality of the buildings, in terms of the quality of the infrastructure, services and the facilities that are required there, we need to redevelop them and upgrade them. An ambitious target on a continent where the infrastructure deficit is well known. And in its annual competitiveness report, the African Development Bank says a shortage of infrastructure reduces the continent's annual growth by at least 2%. By spending just 5% of its total GDP on infrastructure, the bank estimates productivity could increase by up to 40%. A message heard loud and clear in Ethiopia's capital city.